And if you're one of the many individuals who received a new furry best friend this Christmas, you must have many questions in regard to how to properly potty train your new pet. Joining us today to talk to us about the do's and don'ts when it comes to potty training your new puppy is certified dog behavior consultant Emily Scott. Welcome, Emily. Hi, how are you today? I am good. How about yourself? I'm great, great. Well, that is good to know, Emily. <laughs> Emily, first of all, you know, what is something that, you know, new parents shouldn't do when it comes to potty training? Oh, uh, potty training. It's a struggle. You know, everybody who hires me for puppy training, that's the first question is how do I get my puppy potty trained? And there's a lot of stuff out there over the years that people have been taught that are really sabotaging the ability to potty train. Um, the first and most important thing is you don't punish it. When the puppy goes, they have to go. They're going to go whether you yell at them for going or not. So the most important thing is if you catch them in the act, you can quickly grab them up and say, uh-oh, and run them outside. But you don't rub their nose in it if you find a, a, a spot. You certainly don't punish them with newspaper or anything like that. You're just going to scare them, and they're going to learn to hide and run away from you to go to the bathroom, and we don't want that. You know what, Emily? I'm so glad you mentioned the whole newspaper thing because, you know, everyone says, like, oh, no, you have to kind of, you know, give them a little tap. With the newspaper, but I'm glad that you're saying, like, hey, don't do that. Absolutely There's not. Other things, right? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't yeah. do that to a baby who has an accident. You're not going to do it to a puppy. So the, exactly. the real, it's not rocket science to, to potty train a puppy, mm -hmm. but there are several important things you have to do. The most important thing is you limit their freedom. You know, I walk into these homes and the puppy has 2,000 square feet of house they're running around, and the more they run around, the more they get stimulated and they go to the bathroom. So we're limiting their freedom, okay, so that they're, they're either in a pen, a playpen, or they're in a crate, or they're on a leash with a person, um, so they're just not able to run around as much, and that way they're not running off and hiding. So that's the first trick. Number two, you want to make sure you take them out all the time. Not, oh, I guess we should take the puppy out. You want to do it every half hour. For a young puppy, like under 10 weeks, I'm going out every half hour. Every yeah, half so you're hour. staying ahead of it. You're taking them out every half hour, whether you think they need to go or not. That's really important. So um, they, they're getting out there all the time, and they're learning outside is where we want you to go. Um, the next most important thing is that you're managing their water and food intake. Mm -hmm. A lot of puppies love to tank on water. That was one of Sherman's little issues. Yeah. This is Sherman. He's a little uh, poodle mix puppy, six it's months old. Adorable. And we that. just got Sherman potty trained. Um, when I first met Sherman, he was going to the bathroom all the time. Um, and part of his issue was he drank water constantly. And not because of a medical issue. He just yeah. loves water. And he, anytime yeah. there was water nearby, he'd lick and lick and lick. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he had to go to the bathroom every five minutes. So um, we managed his water by just um, offering offering him water at regular intervals, but we didn't leave it down all the time, and that really helped. Mm -hmm. um, so um, just managing how much liquid they're taking in yeah. and when they're getting their food can help yeah. regulate their bowels and help them go more consistently. That's super interesting, Emily. So as an expert, of course, what do you recommend when it comes to water? Like every 30 minutes, kind of just give them like a little bit? or Yeah, so normally I recommend we yeah. do it, um, you know, this is only if a puppy is really tanking on water. Um, obviously, I don't want to neglect water from a puppy, so if they're doing fine with water intake, I leave it down. But mm -hmm. if a dog is really tanking on it, then I'll offer a cup uh, of water six times a day. Six times a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. really good to keep in mind, of mm -hmm. course. And yeah. what is a mistake that you see constantly that people do when it comes to potty training? Uh, so another um, issue that I see a lot, besides just having the puppy be free, is that they'll go outside with the puppy, and they'll go potty, go potty, go potty, and the puppy's eating leaves and jumping around and having a great time chasing butterflies flies and they're not thinking about going to the bathroom. So the owners go, oh, they must not have to go. So they bring him back inside, let him run around the house, and within a couple of minutes, there they go. They go to the bathroom. And then they're angry at the puppy because the puppy didn't go outside. So it's really important. If you take the pup out and you think they need to go outside, and then, or you think they need to go, then you stay out there until they go. And you run them around and play with them if you need to to get them stimulated. But you're not going to just, oh, I think he's okay. If you really have to help them get the stuff through the pipes. And, of course, Emily, does this apply to every single breed? Breed. Yeah, I mean, I've had potty training issues with every breed. Um, obviously, the little tiny puppies, yeah. um, the Yorkies, oh, the little nice. mini Doxies, yeah. some of those can be really challenging to potty train just because they're so tiny and their bladder is so tiny. They go every 15 minutes. So you really have to be on top of it and really managing it. Um, the one other thing that I, I think can be sabotaging um, but maybe necessary would be potty pads. So a lot of people understand and use potty pads to help with the potty training process, but 
I'm not a big fan of them only because you're telling the puppy it's okay to go inside, right? To go to the bathroom in the house okay. on the pads. Yeah. And that's not so good. So if it's a tiny, tiny puppy that can't hold it to go outside, I might use them. Mm -hmm. But generally with a bigger puppy, I'm going to try and just get them out regularly and avoid the potty pads altogether. Perfect. And Emily, for those that are watching, they're interested in your services, how could they reach you? Yeah. You can reach me at mshappycanines.com or 797-4343. Uh, I'm local here in the Valley. Perfect, Emily.